Are you aware that Google Trends is showing you the wrong data? That's right. If you are using Google Trends to compare the search volume of different keywords, you may want to stop because that data is not right. In today's video, I'll explain why Google Trends is showing you the wrong data and how Keywords Everywhere introduced a new feature that reveals the actual search volume of the keywords you are researching inside Google Trends. So let's get started. When doing research in Google Trends, we assume that the line graph that we see is an indicator of search volume. But I'm here to tell you that that is not search volume. That is wrong. Now, let me tell you why. Let me explain this. So let's just say we are comparing uh, two different shoe brands, okay? The first one being New Balance. So we are going to type that search term in. Click on search term. Now, this is what we get. We get this blue line graph, right? Now, this shows you interest. This is not search volume. Okay, so what do these numbers mean? 50, 60, 70? So what does this mean? So Google Trends data is presented as an index that is normalized from 0 to 100. Okay, so this helps us see the trends and emphasizes spikes in searches over the given time period and location. So it's meant to show the trends of this search term, but not the actual search volume. Okay, so search interest over time. According to Google, that means these numbers represent search interest relative to the highest points on the charts for the given region and time. A value of 100 is peak popularity. A value of 50 means the term is half as popular. And of score of zero means there was not enough data for this term. Okay, so it shows you interest over time and peaks, okay, in popularity. So as you can see in this line graph, there was a peak in March, in August, and also more recently in November. So when you look at this line graph, you could see for the most part of the past 12 months, it's been pretty consistent, right? But it's been slowly inching upwards over the past two or three months. So when you look at this, you can assume that, hey, you know, the line graph has been pretty consistent. So the search volume has been pretty consistent, but it's been slowly increasing over the past few months, right? Now, let's compare another shoe brand. Let's type in uh, Converse. So we're going to click on search term. Now, this is what we see, right? So we could see that for the majority of the past 12 months in the United States, Converse has been beating New Balance in terms of interest over time, right? Uh, you could see Converse um, peaked in January, and it also peaked in August and more recently in November. For the majority of this past 12 months, the interest has been much higher for Converse, but the story changes, right? In September, it looks like New Balance has been beating Converse in interest, right? So they are basically neck and neck since September. So when you look at this line graph, you can say that for the majority of this past year, um, the interest has been much higher for Converse. So you might assume that the search volume has been higher than New Balance as well, right? Uh, but is that really the case? Is the search volume higher for Converse than New Balance? Let's try to see. So that's where Keywords Everywhere comes into play. So Keywords Everywhere introduced a new feature that unlocks the actual search volume for the search terms that you are looking into inside Google Trends. Okay, so it unlocks the actual search volume. So let's look at the actual search volume. Let's see if it actually represents this same line graph, if it does tell the same story. So to get the new Keywords Everywhere feature, you need to in install the extension turn it on and purchase credits because with credits, um, Keywords Everywhere will be able to pull that search volume data. So once you have that browser extension installed, I'm going to uh, refresh this page and let's see what we get. So with Keywords Everywhere, you unlock this brand new line graph. This shows you the trend data. So this gives you the actual search volume 
week by week over the past 12 months in the United States. So what story does it tell, does it tell us? You could see the story is completely different, right? We thought that looking at the Google Trends Line graph, that the um, search volume was higher for Converse than New Balance. But when we actually unlock the search volume, that's actually not the case. It's actually flipped, right? It's actually flipped. So ever since Jan ever since February, late January, the search volume actually has been higher for New Balance than Converse, right? So Convert, uh, New Balance actually has more search volume than Converse, even though, according to Google, it's flipped. So that is really important to understand. So if you want to see the actual search volume, you need the, the Keywords Everywhere extension to unlock that data. So now that you have these two line graphs, you have much more data equipped for you to make right decisions in your own business. You can do keyword research in a much more holistic way where you can analyze the actual search volume and also analyze the search interest um, over time according to Google Trends. So now that you have these two data points unlocked, you can make much more informed decisions in your marketing, right? So um, if you actually want to learn a little bit more in detail about um, this information, I will include a link to this article from Keywords Everywhere where we kind of explain in more detail about this um, information. And hopefully you thought this video was helpful. Um, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. And if you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right here. And with that said, we will see you in the next one.